A sinful life takes a heap of trying. Hey guys, it's Norm Lewis uh, at City Center from the dressing room. We're backstage here at Encores, and we're getting ready to do this amazing show called Cabin in the Sky. And we got some questions here. Uh, here we go. We're gonna. This is our first one. It's at B Elizabeth is asking, what is your absolute favorite song to sing? Hmm. In the show, it is uh, The Man Upstairs um, that's in Cabin in the Sky. But in life, there's a friend of mine who wrote this song called We Live on Borrowed Time. His name is David Friedman. You may know him. He's amazing. Um, and he wrote it, I think, in honor of Lori Beachman and what she was going through her, her struggles. But yeah, it's one of my favorite songs. Okay, second question. Ray at C3PEWO asks, if you would reprise any of your old roles, would you? And what would you choose? Yeah, I would reprise The Phantom, and I would love to go back and do Sweeney Todd. Um, I just love those roles. They are very iconic. Also, um, the fact they're written by two amazing composers, uh, Andrew Lloyd Webber and Stephen Sondheim. And I find the challenge in doing those roles actually left me uh, dead tired, but very uh, fulfilled at the end of uh, each show. Kathy on Facebook asks, what are your f uh, next ventures? Well, Kathy, that's none of your, no, just kidding. Um, I don't know yet. You know, being an artist and being a performer, you kind of don't know where your future lies a lot of times. I will be doing a lot of concerts around the country. I have uh, one that's coming up very soon is with Renee Fleming at, uh, at uh, Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C. So if you have time, if you're down there, come and see us. Monica on Facebook asks, will this production be similar to the movie? Yes and no. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, the book has been changed and updated. Uh, there's a lot of um, what you would consider stereotypical sort of things that were prevalent back in that time that have been taken out because we wanted to just basically focus on the fable, this beautiful fable and this amazing music uh, from this show. So you'll, if you've seen the movie, yes, you'll definitely understand the same story, but it's a little different. Alana on Facebook asks, what is the biggest challenge of this performance and what is the most rewarding? The biggest challenge is that we have two minutes to put it together. <laughs> Secondly, I guess the most rewarding is actually uh, working with this amazing cast and uh, looking and watching them uh, in their process and trying to, do, to develop these characters in such a short amount of time. And uh, I, I guess that's kind of it. It's, it's rewarding to kinda, when it all kind of comes together cohesively. I hope you get a chance to, uh, to come and see our show. Um, I hope that you get a chance to come and see Encores. I hope you get a chance to come and see anything that's at City Center because this is such a great, great venue. And uh, I, that's it. Goodbye. That's the way it should be. Now towns like Sodom were mad. In Ogamora, the struggling sin.